While taking the course at Tech 542, Technology Supported Project Based Learning, I reflected on each of the each of the design phases and assess the adequacy for my students. I did this by conducting observations of the students and conducting informal surveys. I would then make the changes necessary to ensure that my stages of the PBL was comprehensive. The resources and stages provided the learners with visual reminders about the historical context in which we were talking about and would ultimately lead to more confident students reconstructing their meaning. In addition to being reflective and demonstrating the ability to evaluate the resources, I also developed artifacts that are based on appropriate content used in the classrooms. In EdTech 541, Integration of Technology into the Classroom Curriculum, I designed a 21st century digital learning experience. I created a site that guides the teachers and students through an interactive journey regarding the Revolutionary War. Each stage of the unit includes appropriate content and a variety of resources. The culminating project requires students to create a digital media project and create a presentation. This task required me to think outside the box and ultimately led me to adapting a Google site into more of a learning management system. This project is accessible by anyone and allows me to share it with ease. In order to be to effectively manage the appropriate technology techno, technological processes, a person needs to establish supportive and flexible learning communities within their classroom. In EdTech 503, Instructional Design for Educators, I created a design project lesson plan. This plan includes the usage of both Google Apps and software to create the green screen video. During the development of the instructional design project, I was continuously reflecting on the practices and which would be best for the learners. These artifacts demonstrate my attitude as a reflective educator that exhibits effective implementation based on relevant content and pedagogy, as well as my ability to establish flexible learning communities within my classroom.